This shaky video footage inside an ordinary looking home marks a key moment in Peru's history. It was here, in a middle class Lima suburb, that police captured Abamal Guzman, the ideological leader of a violent and fanatical rebel group. Known as the Shining Path, the communist guerrillas' aim was to overthrow the state. Experts say they came close, but for the painstaking work of a police intelligence unit known as the Hain. We didn't know for sure if he was really in there, but we discovered a whole series of clues that indicated he could be inside. Codenamed Seagull, Ana Cecilia Garzon has been surveying the house for months, alongside Julio Becerra, codenamed Squirrel. Although they eventually got married, at the time they pretended to be a couple and managed to get into the hideout and capture the terror group's leader. I went in with a very big revolver and I put it in his face and I said if he move I would kill him. At that moment the two women who were with him launched themselves at me, pulling my hair, but I felt the rest of the team were right behind us. In an instant, the Shining Path's leadership collapsed. 25 years ago in this quiet street, a police intelligence unit effectively brought to an end one of the bloodiest episodes in Peru's history. By capturing Abumar Guzman in the house behind me, they effectively cut the head off a monster which had brought the country to its knees. Behind bars, Guzman was shown to the world. His legacy, a two-decade conflict in which some 70,000 people were killed, according to a Truth and Reconciliation Commission. They were part of an extremely violent organization, but the elements of surprise and the speed of the operation meant there was no armed resistance. They were neutralized, and he was captured alive and fully respecting his human rights up to the point that today he is still alive and serving a life sentence. This real-life terror story has been turned into a film, La Hora Final, or The Final Hour, and there's a book of the same name. Back then, we were on the edge of the abyss and in the Maoist logic of Abimel Guzman. It was the turning point. They were about to take power, and that's why what this police group did was so important. It was the most important victory. The country still faces challenges, of course, but most Peruvians enjoy freedom and peace today thanks to these brave men and women. Dan Collins, CGTN, Lima.